Hey guys, Ridge Outdoors here. I'm recording on my GoPro now that I just got instead of using the old iPhone. Out here in the woods, we just got a good snow. Um, the other night, it's only been a couple days since we trapped that last raccoon in episode one. Looks like we already have another critter um, in the dog proof coon trap. So let me flip the camera around and show you guys what we got here. Hopefully this is still recording as well as my other device. You guys can see everything I'm trying to show you here. Looks like we got another good one. Not a happy camper at all. Looks like he's in there pretty well. He's been running in circles. Let me get this guy taken care of and uh, we'll reset the trap. Hey guys, bear with me here. I'm recording on a log. I forgot my tripod for this GoPro. Still trying to get used to it. Um, got that coon taken care of. He was a big boar. Um, I'm guessing every bit of 20, 25 pounds minimum. Anyways, got the trap here. It's still anchored in the ground. Um, trap's performing greatly. Um, he'd been running circles in this mud. It just snowed and now the ground uh, was thawed. Um, so it's a muddy mess. So you want to make sure you clean all the mud and everything out of your trap as best as possible. And um, I'm <clears throat> going to go ahead and reset it here. So like I said, this little cage here, you just press it in, both palms of your hands. And then you want to flip that, the dog over, or the latch, whatever you like to call it. Once you get that flipped over. You just sit it right inside there like so. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully this is still in the frame. I'm not really sure. Um, hopefully you guys can see this. <clears throat> I'm just going to take this trap. Shove it right on back into the ground. And I'm going to walk over here and get my watermelon licorice. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, made it back. Got the watermelon licorice here. Hopefully you can see it. I've chunked it out in about one inch pieces. I'm going to drop it in the trap, make sure these three or four pieces I put into the trap go below the trigger, as I've explained before. And um, if you guys have any further questions, go back to my episode one. Um, I know that was the first raccoon of the season. Um, this will be episode two, our second raccoon of the season. But go back to episode one. Um, there's a lot more details and whatnot on how to anchor the trap into the ground and how to set it and um, all of that fine print. So. I'm kind of going through this quickly now as we're resetting and progressively catching raccoons. So if you guys have any further questions, um, even past episode one, please leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to help you guys. So now I have three or four pieces of watermelon licorice in my trap. Um, like I said, I always kind of make a little trail of where I think they're coming from, which is downwind, um, probably off this small game trail next to this creek. So I'll just throw a couple pieces um, this way as well, kind of walk them into the set here and uh, hopefully they'll find this trap and uh, we'll continue to catch these critters and keep them out of the neighbor's barn um, to keep her happy. So let me grab the camera here, show you guys. There's one watermelon licorice on top of the trigger there. All right, it just fell below the trigger. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then uh, there's just a few more pieces I've spread sporadically down there um, from the creek bottom that you guys can't really see. Tornado came through here a while ago and I just destroyed the place. So um, there you guys have it. Not a whole lot to it. Hopefully we can continue to catch um, coons on the set and uh, keep them out of my neighbor's barn. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button down below as well as subscribe to the channel so you can see my future content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Oh, 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 oh,